Hello, my name is Tim Gerhardt and I'm from LabStrong. Today we're going to be working on the Fivestream 3, a liter per hour system. We're going to show you how to replace the tubing that's already been in this unit for quite a while and when that happens it actually adheres itself to the glass. So we're going to show you how to remove that. First thing you want to do is always make sure that your water connection is disconnected and your, and your electrical is disconnected, so your plumbing and your electrical. What first thing we're going to do is remove the door by lifting up, pull out on the bottom and drop the top down. That removes your door. And set that aside because you're going to reuse it. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to replace the overflow tubing from the constant level device that goes down to the drain valve assembly. Now this is a very easy piece to take off at the drain valve assembly because this does not get that hot but at the glass right here the silicone tubing will adhere itself to the glass. So what we're going to do is you're going to take a knife and you're going to slice the tube straight down lengthways and then you'll peel that around the glass to remove it. Now all the tubing is pretty much the same when you remove it. They're all going to be adhered to the glass. So your overflow for your constant level device, the fill for your constant level device, and actually your fill for your this blue tubing for your condenser, that's going to be the same thing. So you're just going to take the knife, you're going to take this and you're going to cut it lengthways. Same with this one, you're just going to cut it lengthways just below the glass. And then you just take this and peel it around and remove it. And then from the drain valve assembly, this simply just grab a hold of the tubing and that pulls straight out. You're just going to slide this back, use a screwdriver to help you pull that back. And that just slides off. Then when you go ahead and reinstall it, put a little bit of water on here. Put that back on there. Slide that all the way back. So it's all the way to the back. Okay, now that we've shown you how to replace tubing, both the constant level device, both sections here, your condenser, any of the internal tubing and your inlet blue tubing, I'm showing you how to replace that. Now that you've got those replaced, it's ready to start back up again. You want to grab your door. Always operate your still with the door in place. You just simply put that up inside of the slotted hole on top, inside the bottom one into the slotted hole on the bottom. The door's in place. Then you can go ahead and turn your power back on, turn your water back on, and operate your still. Thanks for watching. At LabStrong, we are committed to making your lab life easier. For additional assistance, please contact the experts at LabStrong.